died suddenly and this is a chance for people to get together and we can kind of share our loss, you know, but at the same time we can build the connections with his community and, and hopefully preserve his legacy by having people meet together and talk about ideas and hopefully continue to work together into the future and keep his, his name and legacy alive. So the event is fantastic indeed because, you know, this is uh, a, a unique opportunity to uh, reconnect with lots of people uh, who have been uh, working with Peter, uh, some, many I don't know actually, and I'm very happy to meet. And uh, I think everyone feels this sort of bond uh, <coughs> of being connected around, around Peter and, uh, and how Peter uh, was you know, very generous with his time. It seems that we were all under the same umbrella of Peter and he was like uh, aware and uh, able to orchestrate all this uh, at one time, uh, being always present with all of us. So this testifies, I think, even more like it's great genius and ability to, to be a, a great academic. I think um, the, the legacy of Professor Carl has to do with the balance between being brilliant academically and being a kind person. And I think Professor Carl well, is, is that type of person. He's brilliant, but he understands the struggle of people who have been marginalized and giving them an opportunity to show themselves. What I remember always, Peter, is his passion for doing math and finance, bringing things together, and in particular his uncompromising love for ideas which other people might think were unusual or a little bit outside of what is really en vogue, so that he just doesn't care or didn't care so much what other people were thinking and just loving to do what he did and working with people, discussing ideas is really uh, what made him such a spectacular personality. I knew him for many years um, and we work in different places. We work in industry, but the happiest I saw him was at NYU. When I think about some changes, like for example, I got this new job, I said, well, I should tell Peter because, you know, that's what the first thing I would do. And um, unfortunately I can't, and I know I'm not the only one, right? It's uh, surprisingly, he was a mentor and great, um, great inspiration for many, 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 many people, especially for students. I had known Peter only through its work, essentially. Uh, I've, I think I, see today, I think I read everything that Peter wrote. And uh, so it was uh, for me an icon. It was like meeting a superstar. And like very like uh, timidly I, I approached him and uh, I was, I asked him if he was like willing to like listen to myself explaining my research because there were like things that he had, he had worked on in the past. At the end, like after one hour, uh, that he patiently listened and gave, gave me a suggestion and everything, he concluded saying, it's so nice uh, to see someone that shared the same uh, interests uh, that I have. And that was just so like amazing because I was a PhD student and I'm still like growing, let's say, in my career, but he treated as a, as we were even. Now actually thinking back, right, we wish we could go back and tell him how much we appreciate him because even if we should have said it more, you know, that's the only thing I would uh, really change. Uh, but uh, he, he actually accomplished quite a bit and he will be remembered. At least we have this, you know, great memory and great uh, legacy from him and great research which will, will move forward. We can see his legacy from all the beautiful talks that had been given over the last three days.